Okay, this video is actually the second time I've had to do this. I had to redo it because I got some pretty important bottles just over the weekend. Um, so I'll point those out in a second. But this is probably my favorite wall of stuff here. Let me start showing you these some Hartman beverage receipts. There's a Tennessee thing that explains where they're calling Moonshine Mountain Dew. It's a kind of little, not related really to soda itself, but gives you the history kind of where that name came from. Um, let's see down here. Here's some of the pieces I got this past, this weekend. Some Rockwood, Tennessee, Coca-Cola canceled checks. Um, there's a Hartman Beverage newspaper clipping for Pepsi. So that's awesome. And by the way, just for y'all that don't know, the Hartman Beverage here in Knoxville, Tennessee, that's the original creators of Mountain Dew. That's why I find it particularly interesting. Now these are some old Knoxville different bottler receipts my buddy Don Cox gave me. Some back there. Those are eventually going to go on this little board right here. Have those set up beside each shelf. Okay, let's see here. There's an old Pepsi uh, gallon syrup jug. Here's some. There's a Big Nickel by Pepsi. White Rose by Pepsi. Got that for a dollar and looked it up. Um, seen on eBay a couple times. Goes for a lot more than that. So I've definitely got some great deals in my day. And thanks to all y'all who made that possible. Um, there's an old, that would be a Pepsi can. It's just flattened out, before, you know, pre them making it into a can. Now here's uh, my 8, 8 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, and then the two full glasses in the single dot Pepsi which actually I need to switch those around because those are a little newer than these double dots. Those, these double dots came first. Uh, I got the 8 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce. And then this is a little bit later. The swirl design. And there's some Diet Pepsis, Pepsi Free, Greenville, South Carolina anniversary one. Patio and Team, those are put out by Pepsi. And then there's just some commemorative Pepsi bottles and holiday spice and whatnot. Now we're getting into my babies. My Mountain Dew related stuff. Okay, right here. Starting um, some of the Hartman beverage stuff I have. Uh, Hartman beverage right there. There's an embossed Hartman beverage. Which anybody out there, that's Hartman's one of my top things I collect if anybody's got any. Um, this is kind of neat. It's a Mill K, which is one of my favorites, um, just as it is. But these are Hartman Beverage. And one of these has the abbreviations uh, Knox 10 and Hartman Beverage Co. And the other one has that all spelled out, so that's kind of cool. Now here's two of my newest and some of my most happy bottles I got this weekend. Um, here's a Mill K from... Uh, Tri-City Beverage in Johnson City, Tennessee. They have, they're the ones that gave Mountain Dew the flavor that it has today, and they have a lot of history with Mountain Dew. But this is the little guy I got this weekend that I'm really excited about. Check that out. That's a really old Tri-City Beverage bottle. I'm really happy about that one. Um, here's uh, some newer versions. Still got the cap on that one. Tip. I believe they made the syrup for Mountain Dew. There's some of my tip bottles. Ming's Beverage. Um, I believe they are the ones that kind of spread Mountain Dew through the Carolinas, mainly North Carolina, and kind of grew the company and made it more popular and bigger. There's some of my Ming's. Um, this one also says Orange Crush. I think... Yeah, that's a Gastonia, Gr Greenville, North Carolina. So that's also a cool one because it's Gastonia. Um, same for this clear one, Gastonia. Now this is a cool one my, I got from my buddy Don Cox. Um, it says Dew on there, and it's from Knoxville, Tennessee. 
Um, but that was many a year before Mountain Dew came out. And he says he even has um, proof that in some uh, advertisements they called this Mountain Dew. So I thought that was really cool. And I got my carton. Here's just some variations on the Mountain Dew bottle with the hillbilly guy in a couple different colors. Different styles. I think this one, yeah, it's the Mountain Dew is good. Most of them say it'll tickle your innards. Here's some of my named ones by Huber, Ed and Jean, Florence, South Carolina. That one you can't really see, but Selma, North Carolina. That one's pretty rare. I mean, obviously, condition is not too good. but, And I have some that I have bought but just haven't picked up yet that have um, Burlington on the back, like my last name, and Walt on the front of another one, my name too. Here's uh, some the imitator section. Here's um, Kickapoo Joy Juice in a 10 and 12 in the yellow. Um, yellow can, green can. Here's the white label, 10 and 12. And this I thought's cool. It's a money back bottle. And also down here it says 1977 Cap Enterprises and all the other ones. Say 1965, so that's kind of neat, I think. Um, here's Moonshine Sipping Citrus, got one paper label in the can. Here's Hillbilly Juice. Here's some um, Hillbilly Beverages out of Wisconsin. This is a 10 ounce, these are 8 and 3 fourths ounce. Um, a little variation on those in the jug, if you can tell. That one says XXX, that one says Register Mark. And then kind of the same thing, but these are in the 16 ounce. Got the carton. There's Kick Like a Mule that was put out by RC. Hillbilly, or I mean Little Brown Jug, Hillbilly Brew. I think that was, I want to say, put out by Sundrop or something. And White Lightning. And this one's a really cool one. I've only ever seen this one time. Tennessee Toddy. That's a, you can tell that's a Mountain Dew imitator, but I don't know what its story is. But if anybody knows, I'd love to know. There's a little um, quickie bottle that the carton's imitating the hillbilly scene. Now here's my Tennessee bottles. Um, you'll notice there's not a ton, but I'd like to change that. These are all Knoxville right here. Got Pepsi Cola, Double Dot, um, Alco, TC Fox. Red Rock Cola, Double Dry, well, the rest you can read. That one's Chero Cola, California Drinko. Here's my uh, Knoxville Cokes. Got the 1915, 1923, Patent D, and a couple of sorted. I'd like to get all those. I don't have any straight sides yet, so I'd love to get some of those. Um, here's Harriman, Tennessee bottles. Uh, where I was born, so they're kind of special to me. There's Lenore City. Um, these are Rockwood. Uh, it's Rockwood Ice and Bottling or something like that, and some Rockwood Cokes. And then down here, Johnson City, Tennessee. And then these are just assorted towns in Tennessee. I think there's a Nashville and a Chattanooga. But that's those, gang.